Okay. So, here's the deal. You you copy down um, the things on the back. Okay. And remember, all this can be in English. That's fine. All right. Because I want you I, I want you to be creative with the stuff that you put on the back because this background information, right, is going to be really crucial to coming up with a really complex and interesting character. Okay. And also, the, what's the most important number on here? Wow. Problem. The problem, number 12. Okay, the problem is the most important. Okay, a very creative and interesting and complex problem will lead us to have a really good story. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to actually want to show y'all. Um, these are these are okay, one of these is y'all's, uh, is, is from our class, but I want to show y'all some of the um, the the better invisible characters that we've had in some of my other classes that have led to like some really awesome stories so y'all can kind of get an idea of what problems and what kind of you know, aspects to a character really make a good story, okay? Um, so, this, is that, is that framed up all right on the camera? Yep. Yeah. Okay, this is Frickin', okay? Frickin' has the body of a frog and the head of a chicken. Sayama Frickin', okay? And so he lives with a bunch of frogs, okay? But because he has the um, the head of a chicken, all the other frogs make fun of him, okay? Especially this one particular, like, bully frog, okay? And so he goes on an adventure um, to try and um, learn, you know, try and become a real frog. He wants to be a real frog. And, you know, he goes to this doctor, and he's like, well, what's a way I can, get a, I can be a real frog? Like, well, you need a long tongue. So he gets the doctor to, like, pull his tongue out really long, and, you know, and then he can catch bugs. So, anyway, it was a really, really fun story. Okay. Here's one. Okay. So here was Mark, right? This is from y'all's class, right? And who, who drew? Uh, did Sintava draw this? Oh, Maya drew this. Okay. So it was awesome, right? Because the so markers obviously they gotta have a top, right? So he lost his top. He lost his hat. And when a when a top when a marker loses his hat or top, he gets dried out. Yep. And then he dies. So that I really enjoyed um, doing that one with y'all. Um, so, and that is, I think this is funny, so this was not yours, this was not your story, but we actually told a very similar story with this one, and uh, with another baseball player in first period, okay? Uh, this guy's name is Wilson, and kind of the same similar thing, like his family was over the home run fence, so he wanted to be with his family, but he was also scared of being hit really hard, and so that was his main problem. Uh, we had these cute little cherries uh, that were twins because they're connected, okay? And they're really big into exercising and working out and um, hitting the gym. Um, <clears throat> but they want to do everything together, right? Because they're tied together. Well, this one gym they're at, they're like, oh, it's too dangerous for y'all to be, you know, on a treadmill together or jumping rope together. You're going to hurt yourselves. So they eventually had to find a new gym that allowed them to work out together, okay? Um, this was Peely the Onion Man, and y'all can't really tell, but he's got lines coming out of his, his mouth. So Peely wanted to be a professional singer, and, um, but one, one problem, I mean, he had a beautiful voice. One problem, though, his breath was super stanky, okay, like most onion people would probably have, okay? So he had to go on an adventure to figure out how to um, not have bad breath anymore. Um, and then... I think this is the last example. Yeah, this is uh, Princess Lucy, Princess Lucille, who is the princess of Turtle Land. And um, her main problem was she had this uh, horn, this unicorn horn, growing out of her head. And it kept growing and getting bigger and bigger. And because she had the horn, her crown wouldn't fit anymore. And as we all know, princesses got to have a crown. Okay, it's just, you just got to. Uh, it's just how, that's just part of the lifestyle, okay? So, I want to challenge you again. You can do an animal, a food, an inanimate object. You can do a mixture of two animals. Um, and again, you can use your um, phone to kind of guide you in drawing, but you cannot copy anything off the internet. It has to be 
an original idea. So like you can use it as a guide. So like maybe you could Google, you know, monkey cartoon if you want to do a monkey, but then maybe take off its ears or give them bat bat wing, kind of like uh, Bonky over there on for set from second period earlier this week. Okay, so it's okay if you kind of use the internet as a guide, but you cannot copy. Just make sure you either add details or omit details to make your character different. Okay, and then everything needs everything on the back can be in English, and then we'll work on it in Spanish when we get starting our story during auditions tomorrow. Um, I recommend that you color and draw first today because some of you don't have colors and markers at home. And then at home for homework, you can finish um, writing out all of the back of this. Y'all are? All right, go, go, Power Rangers.